All right, the can opener, you know, it's not very, not very sharp at all. So I'm going to attempt to sharpen that up if I can. I hope this works. I want to see if I can cut a can. So let's see if this made a difference. And, uh, oh yeah, this is cut nice, just like butter. That can opener needs to be, uh, needs to be edged up with a, with a Dremel. So this thing, yeah, this is nice. It's stronger than a, than a P-54, those army can openers. does go pretty good. Move it up a little bit. It's hard for me to do this because because I'm stretched out trying to show you on camera. I don't have it right beside me. Probably better to pull that up a little bit. It's going. So I like it. So now, so then we could use the pliers and, uh, or you can continue to go around. I only went halfway around, but that does actually work pretty good. I would take your arc, your Leatherman arc, and I would sharpen that can opener. I could probably sharpen it a bit more. And I had my screws come in today. Might as well show you those. Right here, see? Gives it a much more professional look than having um, two holes in your leather mark. Your Leatherman. I got this off of a guy on eBay. I'll put a link in the bottom. And uh, I ordered two sets. One for the other arc I got coming in. But I think it completes it more than having those two holes there. I think it looks better. You do need a really tiny screwdriver to put them in though. Is what you need. So. But one thing's for sure. I mean. I think it's much better than what, what it was. That's for sure. So, 
I would. But you got to be careful, you know, when you open that. Because that it's sharp on this side that I did, but it's not sharp on this side. So if I actually sharpen this side too, it would probably cut a little bit better. But um, it does work. So get your Dremel out and uh, go sharpen your Leatherman can opener. It'll work a whole lot better. Catch you guys later.